Day two of our Frexin Banks Canex 2024 weekend started with a powerful address from Executive Vice President Kanayo Awani. In her opening speech, she highlighted why a trade finance bank like Afrexim has made significant investments in the creative and cultural sectors and emphasized the bank's role in transforming this sector into a major contributor to Africa's economic growth. Since we established the Creative Africa Nexus in 2019, people often ask me, in fact, I was still asked yesterday, why is a trade finance bank so heavily invested in the development of the creative and cultural sector? This is a sector that is not often associated with the global rhetoric of economic development, and one that, one that has not traditionally featured in national or regional economic planning. It's also a sector that has huge informality. A sector that, I bet you, as they say of SMEs, many of them who walk into banking halls for financing will be rejected. But the answer for us is simple, and why not us? That's because it makes a lot of economic and business sense. What we try to do in this period is to showcase the sense that it makes. But globally, the creative economy is valued at an astonishing two trillion US dollars. It offers substantial revenue streams for small businesses, creating countless op op employment opportunities, even for those informal ones. The day featured three impactful sessions, including a keynote speech by Her Excellency Honorable Hanatu Musawa, Minister of Arts, Culture and the Creative Economy. In her session titled Collective Disruption, Strengthening the Fashion and Textile Ecosystem, the Minister discussed the importance of collectives in the orange economy, which foster creativity, collaboration and support for emerging talent. She later visited the Nigerian stand, where she discussed how Canex 2024's goals aligned with Destination Nigeria 2030, showcasing the country's ambition to be a leading cultural force. Listen, I'm an extremely proud Nigerian at this point. Um, as you would know, one of our great initiatives is Destination 2030. It's a huge initiative that we want to take globally, where we will reposition Nigeria and really leverage on the great things that our creators and our culture has to offer, our talent content, to see how not only we can reposition Nigeria, but also increase growth to our GDP. So, you know, Canex, what it does is a convergence point. It's sort of a one-stop marketplace where the whole of Africa comes together. And I think it aligns greatly in terms of how we can really open up Destination 2030, the issues that we have on ground for Destination 2030, for the policy and infrastructure, is very much in line with what Canex, you know, proposes to open up the growth of the industry and the culture in the African space and in the diaspora. Another standout moment was hosted by Ndidi Unneli, founder of African Food Changemakers, with a live demonstration and discussion titled Flavors of Africa, Celebrating Culinary Diversity. This session brought together celebrity chefs and culinary experts to explore the shared flavors, techniques and tastes across Africa and its diaspora and highlighted how food serves as a unifying cultural element across the continent. Well, food is medicine, food is love, food is culture, food is life. And the amazing thing is that food is also art. When we think about the creative industries, we often neglect the importance of food. There's no movie that's complete without food and no fashion show that's complete or party that's complete without food. But food and how it's laid out and how it's designed is also art in itself. And Africa has some of the best food in the world. Not just in Nigeria where our food is probably amazing and we know it, but across Africa. And so what we wanted to do today was showcase the diversity of our food, celebrate our chefs who are also entrepreneurs, who are generating income, elevate their voices and their work, and ensure that globally, we continue to celebrate our food. Africa's creative and cultural industries are proving to be unstoppable forces, driving economic growth and innovation across the continent. From fashion to food, the sessions showcased at Canex 2024 highlights the power of collaboration and creativity. 
with Afrexin Bank's unwavering commitment and bold investments, these sectors are taking center stage in shaping Africa's global influence. From Algiers, Algeria, Shaitan Atigari, Arise News.